this thing. Yes, sir. We give thanks again. See we have to fulfill the mission, you know? And I know in the future, I said special show, but this one come like it's extra special. I had a bridge in the car. Franklin, Ben Up Irvin here, Original Foundation Channel One Studio, man. Ben, what are you saying? Yeah, man. Give thanks, man, for the, for the day of life, for the eye of them with him, you know? <laughs> now, a serious thing. And, and, and I just want to kickstart the thing and say, let the people know how you ended up at Channel One. Well, uh, I born and grew in Kingston 13 and at Swetnam Road. And Channel One Studio is a con at, on the corner of Maxil Avenue and Swetnam Road. 29 Maxil Avenue is the address of Channel One Studio. But the gate to the studio is on Swetnam Road because it's on a corner. And I live around three road, three hours from Channel One studio. So once I come out by my gate and look up the road at Channel One, corner me I look on. So I came there uh, at Channel One studio roughly around 12 years old. So that's how I be a part of Channel One. So, so hold on, before we move on, is this something we could put the camera on so it don't bop? It's on your knees? Oh, yeah. Hold, hold on. See if we get, or just put it on a chair or something so it just stays steady. All right. Is it steady now? Yeah. Good? Cool. If we can leave it there. All right. All right. So when you first started hanging around there, was Channel One Studio even open yet? Or they were dealing with something else. When they dealing with um, it, oh, okay, all right. It's Channel One Studio didn't finish bill yet. Channel One Corner is Cool Paris, the original name, and we are a lot of uh, working man, all different type of people, working, uh, unemployed, bad man, good man. Everyone does at an evening time they meet there. Because it, uh, it was an ice cream parlor at the front of uh, Channel One Studio, which the owner, Joseph Hukim, parents owned that, Carmen Hukim. So it was a corner there first before when the studio built that, when the studio was building at the back. So I used to come there as a little boy because uh, as a youth growing at the inner city, I always love to hang out amongst older men. So I was the man that would go a shop, go buy some man's cigarette and uh, go get something from and, and then sit down and involve in a big man, just listen to the big man then uh, conversation. Sometimes dip my mouth in it. So to, as I would tell you, say, boy, I shut your mouth. So I mostly listen and on the talk when I allow to. So the studio that, and that was around 1970. The studio finished 1972. And and fire want clear because I spoke to numerous people and um Sly Dunbar was telling me also is that was all right. I know they took a long time to get that sound in Channel One, right? Who was there working? that made the special sound that Channel One has? Like what musicians were there and what sound, is it true they were trying to copy the Philadelphia sound? No, not really. All right, when Channel One's open, uh, the, the first engineer that came to Channel One, it was Sidney Buckner, Sidney Buckner. He was from Studio One. And uh, the first set session, it was Bonnie Lee. Bonnie Lee is the first producer that worked in Channel One, even before the orders. And it was sitting back, uh, along with Soul Syndicate Band, Earl Chinna Simit and Santa Davis, uh, Fully, Tony Chin, and I don't remember the keyboard. So uh, Bonnie Lee, them first uh, uh, working there. And after Bonnie Lee worked there, Channel One, you know, uh, one of the big man was on the corner named Mello. He was the one that did the addition. So they record a song with him, uh, Stand Firm. Well, after listening to Stand Firm and listening Bonnie, Way, uh, Bonnie Lee's song, I think Channel One, they realized 
see the see the buck not bring the same old sound from studio one. So there was a difference there. The difference came now is when Ernest Oakim, the younger brother of the owner, the, the guy, there was four brothers in uh, around Channel One. Ernest Oakim, Joseph Oakim, the bigger one, Paul Oakim, that's own Channel One sound, Ernest Oakim, and Kenneth Oakim. Well, what happened now, after they listened to some of Bonnie, Wheel, uh, Bonnie Lee's song and this the, the stand firm, they realized it's the same sound that come from Studio One they have, and Channel One didn't want that. So Ernest Oakim, which was a, a technician, he was a technician, a, a, a machine technician, what they call it, one hand bandit, some people call it slap machine, he used to fix that. But that API board, came with a big black book. So Ernest take that book and go through it. And also because Channel One people them with own jukebox. And they have a sound named Dynamic before it becomes Channel One. So actually they have a, a hears for, for, for good music and, and, and sound. So after Ernest read that book, he becomes an engineer. And from Ernest becomes the engineer, the magic start because there was some there was some sound on the board and some things on the board that Sydney Buck that never touched none at all. Sydney does it touch some other things. So them yeah. start to, to touch some sound and the magic kick off from there. I want to tell, I really want to ask there something because there is a bunny, a bunny striker lead there. I really do some session in the first, but me I realize say so officially when Channel One start move as a studio, uh, uh, Delroy will say it's a shame because 1974 me sip on it. So uh, four years before them really start do the original song, then we come out of Channel One directly. No, uh, it's a shame it didn't come out. Uh, it's a shame it's 1973 that one released, and that was Channel One first hit song. So after Bonnie Lee works uh, 72 and Channel One, we used to do some things, you know, like getting the thing together. And when they do feel like they get it together, It's a Shame was their first hit from uh, their rival. That release, that was done 1973. And there was another hit named Call On Me, Delroy Wilson again. So those songs is Channel One first two songs that they produced, Joseph Hookin produced, and those songs it was two number one songs on the chart. So they didn't look back from that. How, how did they put the backing band together? Okay, the backing band together was, well, they, they, they meet because it was skin, flesh, and bone. The first band called the Sly because Ernest them uh, no sly from up a tit for tat club, which is ready as the road. The skin, flesh, and bone used to put to, uh, used to play. So after Soul Syndicate, because Soul Syndicate them play some of Channel One song, which is Chinna them, you know. But that band now, when Ernest them bring in Sly, and so uh, the first session that Channel One supposed to do on a Sunday. The first thing, real thing with, with the, the skin, fish, flesh and bone band. It was a Sunday when we have Sly, Dougie, which is Rod Bryan, he used to play for Toots, Dougie, a guitarist, Ranchy McLean. So Dougie was the lead, Ranchy was a, supposed to play the rhythm guitar, Ansel Collins, the keyboard. And Light Park's supposed to be the bass man. I don't know what had happened. Uh, I think Light did have some, something came up and Light couldn't turn up at the session. So Jojo don't have everything set already. Rice and peas, cook and food and everything ready. And them, when they must have said, session of a cancer because Light is not there and Jojo said, no. 
And Georgia would have a big heavy base because Channel One have all the equipment, all in, uh, uh, all instrument. And Georgia would take the guitar from Ranchi, the rhythm guitar, and give Ranchi the bass in I'm on. And that's how Channel One things kick off and then they become the revolutionaries. No more longer skin, flesh, and bone. So Ranchi McLean becomes Channel One official bass player as a, as, a, as a man was there to play the rhythm guitar. And and I've been hearing about Ranchi for a long time now and, and great bass player. One, he don't get the acknowledgement, but play, can you give me some big tunes that he played the bass on so the people know? Uh, the Channel One sang them. A lot of it sang around the Ranchi Collins play them. Yeah. Otherwise, from the one them that Roots Radix play, because Roots Radix they come in, in the 80s, come play some like a, some tune for Channel One and Soul Syndicate play that. Run all of you, you name everyone. I need a roof over my head. Uh, you don't, all the Channel One song them is Ranchi, Ranchi McLean play them. So, I hear some people always say they thought it was uh, Sly. Sly and Robbie and Robbie play. Robbie Shakespeare don't play, never play on a Channel One produced songs. Uh, Robbie Shakespeare play on the taxi songs with Sly and other songs. Channel One produced song on the play. Two, three bass players within Channel One song. Soul Syndicate plays some of Channel One song, which is fully. Ranchy McLean plays all of Channel One major it. The bass player is Ranchy McLean. The keyboard, Ansel Collins. Dougie play the lead guitar. And Sly play the drum and Sticky. Thompson play the progression along with the horn section. Now you will have Tommy, uh, uh, Tommy Cowan and Mark Wiss and Bobby Ellis them. But that Ranch, Mac, Ranch, Ranch McLean pass away them, so rest in peace. He play all the Channel One hits on them. Wait. No, you, you, you know something more ask there too. As a man, we come really, really st I study the whole channel vibration through the eye directly and through all the pilots. You know, we come up, come up in other things still. How do I feel like say the music, the the, the, the joy amongst musicians changed from that time to this time? Because I really realize it's like most of you them now we are dealing with music. Them now have the upbringing there for you know, the channel one day there as a guide and you have musicians who know the thing and we just come in and you know say it's a whole harmonic type of vibration. But no, we don't see them type of vibes there though. No, because uh, what happened now, these, uh, and I bash no youth or not, but what happened, these young musicians now, through the, the, most of them go to school and music, and them parents or whosoever, they said they paid to learn to become a musician. And it was a, a, a cost, so there is nothing do for free. It's no more love, it's about the money. Original musician that live. 50 to 70 percent of Jamaican hits and what put Jamaica upon the mat. Most of those musicians don't even get paid. All a man want to know that he in a station, laying rhythms, and know said somewhere down the line those songs going to go out the road and play them. It was all about the love. Music in the 70s and late 60s is about love and about want to be somebody within the music and mainly most of those musicians to was ear sound if you if you put the song that he even play write it on the paper and give him a play them can't play it <laughs> because they don't know it it's after some man it they start to study to know the cards so well and they, and they, and that type of C minor might be a, usually have a one man or a two man say that a C and G and show a man and say a E minor. That. But most of those brothers listen him, listen. And just play him and just hold him line. Find a line. So it, the difference now, the youth them is all about money payment. If you don't have the money right, you know, and if him forget ten thousand dollars aside, and you only have five and him willing to pay him, just play. 
a five a, a five line which the feelings are dead end that's something <laughs> cut you <it> more. <laughs> So uh, that, that's why you, you will never get back that sound and that togetherness. And it's about feelings, feelings. And about you, you go at school and music, or you go at the biggest school in the world. Reggae music come out of feelings, want to be something. All right, fine. Check this, right? Um, Channel One look over enough, Studio One rhythms. How was Channel One able to revamp? those rhythms and give it that sound fight like channel one have a unique sound in the history of reggae everybody know a channel one sound song if they know music you get what i'm saying so how were they able to take that studio one rhythm and just totally redo it and, and, and give it that energy so it kick for the 70s well it's about channel one came with quality and the most important thing when i listened to the studio one song it was the uh, two cluster so what happened now, Channel One started emphasize most upon the drum. So when the mixing time come, them set the drum properly within every drum, everything mic up, every instrument around the drum, the tam tam, everything mic up. And they start to pay attention to the cleanness, the quality, because the equipment then, what happened now? I think it's a more up-to-date equipment from Studio One so because when Channel One was billing, uh, Joseph who came, because I was a little young man at Jagora, we go to every studio, we go to Dynamic, we go to Federal, we go to RG, we go to Studio 17, we go to Studio, because Jojo had every man a friend. And he listened, and they look on the equipment them, and then they put everything together because you notice they come after those studio. So after listening to them, as I said, they were in jukebox business. So we would know all the sound of all the songs them that done at this studio and that studio and them just put it together. And it was about ex experiment. Most of Channel One sound is experiment because Channel One main engineer, all of them, it was Ernie Sukim, uh, Maxi, Bonnie Tam Tam, Soji, Barnabas, Peter Chemist come as a little, as a little youth, and scientists had come out, but scientists had come from Tubbies. All of those uh, music uh, engineers that were called, six of them, they, 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 that formally learn, they come in Channel One studio and becomes engineer. Soji was a soldier, Bonnie was Channel One selector, Max is a technician. So it, the reason why we got those that quality is about experiment, quality equipment, and willing to spend time on the songs them before they, they take they take. But I, 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 want, I want to touch foul upon a thing I, I think um there I mentioned Bonnie Striker Lee. I mean I read that thing one time with that said Bonnie Lee is the is the Dan King of Reggae. More and I more and I was exposed upon that same way because I read uh, all pirates are but but but, but 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 striker Lee is a man where I no few not really know about striker Lee. Sir. I talk about nowadays you because I know striker Lee them have all for production. But a lot of people don't even know something about, about them and but I want to expound upon that a little bit. Well, Striker Lee is a man we never say no with him, and everybody loves Striker. So, Striker just cannot listen to an artist and just know, say, well, other tune there, we're going to make him sing, like Jojo. Wish, and then Striker now is a man actually work at every studio, everyone and Striker friend, every musician and Striker friend. And within is that just music, that's true music alone. As a person, the reason I say that Dan King, he can get anything done. Anything you want done, anything you bring to Striker, anything you ask Striker to do, he can get it done with him. And that is one of the key things with, with, with it. I just say, a Slim Simit, a Striker. A Carnell Campbell, a Striker. A Johnny Clark, a striker. I see him Delroy with him too, and then 
But I'll be a Kingston 13 man, they're there, 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 call out still. We really are check the levels. I'll be a Kingston 13 man, them there too. Yeah, most of them, uh, call them about, yeah, most of them are, are, are Kingston 13, within. And 12, 12 too, because they're right, which is a trench stone man. All the time, they're a trench stone man. But with the turn, because, and Striker was a man that uh, uh, encouraged even Jojo, jo, the owner of Channel One, to, to, Go ahead and, 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 and encourage him within the, the, the music industry too, within. And the advice, him know everything about the business. That's why I tell you, he's a dancing up at, at business. Him know everything about the business. So you notice Evil Evil Striker do over a lot of covered song. We uh, make artists do a lot of covered song. But him don't make them sing on the same rhythm where them do the covered song on. Him find a rhythm to fit it. So even though it's a covered song and when the publisher come, him still have something to get out of it because him sing what the people them sang, but it's a different rhythm within. So he's <laughs> a man where he's a Dan King of, uh, of music. Between quality, a striker. All right. And, and Fire, I wanted to ask, uh, when did the whole DJ thing come into Channel One, that era with the DJs now? Whose idea was it to really bring that in? Well, you, the DJ thing come through the sound, you know. And even most of Channel One, couple of Channel One songs with the New York artists, them, is the sound. Because Dillinger is South Channel One studio, go play. Channel One sound go play, South, South. Because Channel One is a, a big champion sound, where mash up everywhere. And I hear. The man them didn't just DJ the night from the song. And the man them love him style. And Bunny them tell Jojo about it. And them just bring in Dillinger. And you see, and turn Dillinger in a monster DJ. Trinity, which is Jonah Brahma, come with it. So to do that now, Dillinger is a good youth within you know, because after Dillinger bust, Trinity, Lee Van Cliff. Louis Lepke. You have a couple more. One of them, man, they were, you see, I, I didn't just bring them a channel one studio and Joe just re record them. Ranking Trevor now was the next little youth where it's the monks, King of Tani sound, then it becomes socialist roots. So everyone ended up channel one play against socialist roots and yeah, Ranking Trevor and Joe just bring him in. Within. So the DJ thing come through the sound. The Channel One sound system make most of Channel One DJ them that you see come. That's how we, 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 we get those youth. And what about Iroy? What role did he play there at Channel One? Well, big man. They, 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 man they, uh, 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 well, you see them man, as I tell you, it's a Channel One corner of every type of man. And Iroy was one of the man them where when it comes to mustering and joke and them thing there, he's one of the man them that and very proud and bossy. So I I know is one of the man them where he's a like a family with him. So when him, him come there, so him was there before him even start DJ. So it was a part of, 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 of the system and him just him just come up and then the ideas them out within because Stanley and the Turbine do Sad Arena where the young girl them want Sad Arena man the pan corner the lap but I say I ride you hear you hear Stanley them with Sad Arena and I ride the lap and say Sad Arena a welding away the girl them want a welding and immediately a channel and just going to channel one and it's a channel one do a song when you're welding away the girl because that's how the, the industries the man them stay within thing. But but it's one of the big man there within China World. I hear him do some interview, same do a lot of things within and within. Some of them, well, you know, people uh, within some man want to take some credit for some time, but you know, and truth is truth. And it is. When me talk about channel one thing, I'm not I give everybody them credit because I don't do it to come and tell lie or want to be seen 
with him. Anyway, anyhow you hear me, I tell you, is what I'm, I sit there and see everything. And I have, I have a next question real quick, right? 70s now, politics and badness. What role, how did you keep that out of the studio or were you able to keep it out the studio between the artists? Because I know a lot of artists that time was in certain things and just the whole vibe. So how were you able to balance that out with political things going on, artists and the whole politics with the studio? And you know, that, that is one of the thing, you know, as simple as trying, trying one in the art of the borderline, you know. We ride across the road every Sunday, 10 o'clock. You have a shootout 19, from, from starting from 1976, the main political thing start. And nothing, no one, <coughs> sorry, never get robbed. No artist, never disrespect or nothing. What happened for safety? Most man, because most of the session them, Gunshot always have a fire within them, the between PNP and JLP thing. So sometimes, and Channel One shoot a book out seven days a week, work 24 hours every day. So most of the time, man, have a late session at two o'clock and three o'clock. That the iron gate, you have, a, you have a big one, you have a small one. A man have to open the small one sometime and peep before him come out. But it's not saying somebody would be wanted to shoot that musician or that artist, you know. Because in Jamaica in the same in the same thing was if a GLP passed in that era and say anybody would just fire a shot. If him can identify, might be him say a musician or an artist I don't know. I, I don't think they would fire a shot with, with it or shoot him. De deliberately, but they fired it, and it's the same thing with the PNP. So in any era, but but Chalwal was a fully PNP era. So really, when most of those hit song are make inside us, so when the man them for go home, most man can go home. They might just stay till a man until they light out because shoot out a go on for maxi and then you have on a, a curfew. You have a state of emergency at the same time. So when another gunman or the police or the soldier come beat man and carry go a remand center up part camp. So and that that is why the music was so great. Because if you realize those the writing of the song is what the people them was facing. And you see Wailing Soul, you see came a channel one right that got 1977. Bring some magical thing, you know, because when the peace treaty is signed within, the, now you could have some artists where they are trenched down, could have even come at Channel One studio too. Even though some used to come without, like an earth and stone, it live at trench stone and them came there without. I don't want to talk about them later, so <laughs> to earth and stone, yeah. We got to talk about the album later, but. It's yeah. a cool roots. <laughs> yeah, we got to talk about that album I you know, I just said the song them, well, Jojo, if you mean most of Cherry One song them, it was current affair too. So what is whatever was going on within the politics and within them, the, them song that Jojo loves to produce. The, what is going on deliberately. So if you watch the, some of the album cover, then you see some like a cartoon manager with some big AK and I man as a dead to Death to appeal fears, death to communists, death to this, death to that, death to this and that. Within. So we just ride on the current affair. And at the same time, we do the revolution. I think I'd have art manager, Che. And if you look on some of Channel One jacket, you see it's a farmer. What was going on? That is what the, the, the song them was about. Cause really, really, when you check it still, that, that, that we are talking about right now, because we even a reason about that the other day, I say, how oh, the music left from it being a real revolutionary force to it just being a thing where a man not deal with random entertainment, and the thing never did stay. So, because the band, the revolutionaries, they yeah, see the music where I come out, like, the artwork, everything, so it's surrounded by revolutionary works and Rastafari powers too. But that, 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 the spirit did not carry on certain, to a certain extent. No, no, because what happened you know, the thing gone to a hype. A hyping thing and and 
I don't even like to use the word, but them use it so much about it, the thing, but the uh, guy kind of cheap, the bad minded thing, but it's that it really is that a cheap word, but it used so much time. But it's really about the hyping thing. And then, as we said, the love of Jenny is not everyone still, but the, the love leap. The songs them that come in the 60s and 70s and 80s is about what's going on. And it was about what's going on in Jamaica, you know, because you realize most of those songs is the biggest thing in Europe. And when, when the man was writing those songs, even though most of it was, was surrounded with what I'm seeing at Jamaica, but it was a, a worldwide thing. Those crises was going on all over the world. White, or black, Chinese, Indian, everyone was facing those type of oppression. So the music fitting, that's why I say the roots music can, roots music can never die. And it's all about the things them that just you write about is things that you face every day. You face it, you just turn it into melody. But it's a thing that I'm not, I'm no, it, it, it's leave the music, which is sad. 70% it leave the music because every man has seen about an individual thing, him friend and himself. And where him friend will do you if you trouble him. And where how much money him friend have. And where him do a dance. And... Is, and if you trouble him and then and then it got into bad mind and then it gone it's just a hyping thing so there is it's it, it sadly said uh 20 years from now 50 years from now 70 percent of the music that even going on now and even so-called it cannot be, listen by the younger youth them they still would have to listen to the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and also the 90s, the early 90s. Because oh, yeah. those people wasn't singing about themselves. They were singing about what's going on in the world, and it's all about to uplift people and build people. You're coming from work, having a bad, a sad day at work, and... and you need something to lift you up. You turn on the radio, you find a song. I need a roof over my head. You, 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 you immediately change your vibes completely. You put Everybody on a, need a, a roof. Yeah, you, put a, 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 you turn on your radio now. You hear a man I tell you, say, him run with him friend, him friend, bad minded, and him friend do this, and him friend do that, and them sort of way. I'm part of my money, do you something at work where it does. Add it's so it's sad, it's sad, it's sad. And it's 70%. I, I have a quick question, right? I have two questions. Channel One has created um a lot of classic reggae albums, right? Um, were you there when they created Right Time? And also, were you there when they created Cool Roots? All of them sang them on. When, 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 let me tell you something. Mighty Diamonds was a, a, a group that go to everywhere. Go to Studio One, them listen to them. Then go to uh, Joe Creed and the whole of those people. Them would have two songs with them uh, uh, and tape where record. No producer didn't want to take them up. When Mighty Diamonds come to Channel One Studio, is a two a four track tape them bring come to sell Jojo. Never come to record or, and then Jojo buy, listen to them, buy the tape from them and give them back the tape and tell them to come the Sunday and them listen to them. And when them listen to them, I record them. Record. You see, all of those, buy, they, they, I need a roof and right time and you name them. None of those rhythm lay with Judge Bunny and tab it in the studio, you know. Those were them done, because when Channel One was doing those records, I told it on Sunday, every Sunday is Jojo's session. All of those, it sang that diamonds up. Those were them lay and put down, you know. And, them, and, 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 and diamonds come, they come sing on them, you know. All of those bad songs you talk about, you know. The rhythm, them never lay with them. Joseph Hook and Diamonds covers Diamonds. Joseph Hook can put on the mighty planet and call them the mighty diamond. 
me as a little boy in the studio when all those songs was vibes to me. And what was the vibe at the studio? Because Earl Chenna Smith told me on Channel One Studio had the vibes. Every man, every man input in the studio. Every man have an input. All man with with every musician. You have man with every know nothing about all music. But him come in there and hear a man had a play a bass line. I must say, what kind of idiot bass line that you have play? And them take all him advice because him can't dance to it. The man said, me can't dance to it. It was a vibes place, man. And everything come together. Every 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 man have a say. When Tuna mix, when Vice a record with him, in the engineer room full of people. And also when when rhythms lean outside a, 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 a revolutionary sometime, it's be a ganja pie. So when, when, when the music be like a herb, Sometimes when you're looking at it in the studio, in the music, in the room where the, where the, the rhythm I play, you can't even see the man them. But when all the man draw the chalice, we are in full of smoke. And and the next thing too, some of Channel One it play by the first tech. The man them say, all right, the singer there they are, are play, and the man them are the first tech, and the man them are play the rhythm play. Every man, first step. When them don't play, and they must say, all right, that's because the man is just a sing the song and every man just survives it. And they must say, all right, early sir, Maxi, ready now for tech. And the man must say, ready now for tech, what? Come listen to this. <laughs> and when them come round, they come listen to that blouse Sorry. and skirt and then hear that. And the man say, all right, I'm going to go back, I'm going to see I'm going to do something. And when them go back here, I'm going to play. Never get back where them get. Yeah, the feeling they can't back get again. Feeling, never get back that. So some <laughs> of them sound they want to hear. The man, I just listen, man, come listen back that, and I hit that. All right, I got the next question for you. Right? We good things. We love this type of reasoning. All right, how did you get in Channel One Studio as an artist? What did it take for you to get past that gig? No <laughs> artist, not as a right, developed artist. It, you know? Unknown artist. A unknown artist within. As we tell you, the sound system and the corner. The corner is a group that named Cool Paris, where every man comes to down. So I like a man with a claim say, Matty, I like you, I brother with name, you Griffiths. I don't know if you know that song. Eh? In the man and woman, I step it out in a ballet. Big song it was on them. I just sweat them, man, they come back. I just sing and I, I just come and I think, oh, man, let's come here and a vibe. And I sing. And a man, a man I said, boy, but him not sound bad. We can't work with him. And him just going to the studio. And the second thing too, when you, you heard it asked early on about the uh, channel one do over back a couple of channel, uh, studio one song. Most of studio one song that channel one do over wasn't wanted to do, like Georgia deliberately pick them song there, you know. I wanted to do that, you know. Most of Shoulder one artist came because when them realized don't say they'll write but and every man start love the song. All of the man them come and they complain to so them never get no money from Coxon. They never get no pay for the song. So some bad song where they have Jojo just say, right, you want to sing over that? And show a Chinaman, the black man could have vice you and a peer, you know. Chinaman can't vice you and a peer because that's a different thing. So that's how all of them man they come just the the the, the Eptones, Channel, well Channel was our original guy man Jojo them go to school, go to Greenwich school together. The you you name all of the the all of the the the, the whole Altanellis. Everybody come because they was complaining so they didn't get any pay. So then just come do over them song eh? and the man and through them realize that so when the man them play over them song, eh? it also it again. So they are ending up having two it. They might be through the one hit and it it again by channel one. So every man things would be quick becomes better with every man. And the real shall with the addition. The addition you just sing at the gate to a man, because Jojo not take addition. Because the hardest man that to please, you can't be the best singer when you sing to him. I tell you, say, no love that and them. Either. So, them is just, you sing to some man at the gate, 
or you, you sing from the sound, you come at Channel One Sound from country. You no know much man follow Channel One Sound from country and never go back a country. Just come from the chuck. And, and the man in here, uh, Little John, two, uh, what name? A two confession. I think I sing Little John sing that one night pan, 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 uh, uh, at the sound. And immediately the man him tell Jojo about it and Jojo just call him. And I sit with him. And all right. So I, I, I'm aware that the uh the Bridgen passed, right? And Channel One went through a little vibe. Where did Junjo come into play now where you start renting out the studio and you start more to doing volcano stuff? Well, uh, you see, John Joe coming through, as we said, you see, Dillinger, because uh, John Joe Henry Lodge was one of Dillinger, like a, a Dillinger bodyguard, you know. Dillinger, he used to come at Channel One Studio with. So coming with Dillinger and come around the man, the man, them sat away there. That's how uh, John Joe things start. But you, uh, Channel One vibes really, really change after. Paul Ukimi died, which is one of the, the owner of Channel One Studio. Not Channel One Sound, one of the brothers. They, they would kill him down at Greenwich Farm and play a domino. And after that, that was a big tamper in, the, in a Channel One, 1977, October. When that happened, it was, it changed everything. With so, him. Hold on real quick. So why did they find out why they killed him or who killed him? Well, what happened? He was a, 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 a DC. Because even though he was a Chinese, and he might be like, he a, his next Chinese friend was Winston Fong, there was DC. There was top shooter in Jamaica. So the police force turned them into DC. So they was training police to shoot and all of them. So all Trinity, they managed to train all big bad Trinity to shoot. And then, so probably sometime, like a, they found all police jeep, you know, police jeep, so it, it was like a police and apprehending bad man and, and kill all bad man and them sort of way there. Even though he was Channel One, a studio, him own Channel One, so him of the bike shop and he was a part of it still. And, but him also a roots man. Because I don't have Greenwich Farm in there. When Channel One saw Maxi, the engineer was keeping him dance uh, at Donny Park, which him should be hot that dance. But true, Greenwich Farm is a man when smoking ganja pipe and them things. Because those Chinese is on the Chinese by colored or thing, you know. Them appear black people, them born and growing at the 13 and appear black people, them far. Paul leave out, go to Greenwich Farm and play domino. So nobody know. I don't know if it's him gun, them it want, or him kill a man, friend when he was up when, when, when as a DC or whatever. Because the gun where them it come for, him still didn't get it. Because he a one shot him get and him pull him gun, and shoot back one one of the man and fire up shot and them it have to run. So the police them get him gun. So nobody know exactly what was the target all about. We, didn't, we don't know about that. We don't show. I, I just want to jump back real quick to the um, Volcano era, right? Oh, yes. When, when did now, because Channel One are real roots, even though they DJ and they still DJ roots and culture. When did the thing change now to where the words sound not there and it's more like just like a yellow man vibe and and we're what changed with the music from that time there all right first back with with uh, with, uh, with uh, i'll be telling you so yellow, uh bon, uh dylan jai bringing bringing john jolards and then him start the thing john jolards now soji was an engineer where right there and a soji really started to do the work so uh, Soji, build him name now, pull around John Joe, start to give Joe, John Joe, because we know that John Joe is the only man we get the close Channel One mix. Actually, if you hear some of John Joe's song, they come like a Channel One song. Then. So Soji gave him that mix. 
All right, with the yellow man thing now. Jojo, after Pauly died, to be frank with you, the seriousness of the music within Chosey Fulkin, it's like it never did anymore. The seriousness. They start to do them things, the business. It start to be now, to me, it's like formality, just it becomes a business. It wasn't a love now. It becomes a business, money earning now. So that's how you see yellow man them come in and you see him, him break it down. Him start to do some bringing Roots Radix band. And and so we, we, we come in with the the Sammy Dread and the uh Dan Carlos and a couple other things. And then really and truly you now Jojo was in the started to open the business, the record shop in New York. So it's Kenneth, the, nada, the next brother, take over. That's why you see Frankie Pa come in and all of them to stop. Kenneth is the next brother started to really do the, the session them. Jojo was on the coming and overseeing it. He wasn't around the business personally anymore. So you, you realize now, that's why you see the, the song, some of the song them, which in the becomes a more dance hall and which is not the dance hall like what is around now within. So the real energy and the, the, the thing take time drift within because it wasn't Joseph Ukim doing all of those things anymore. It was it's Kenneth Ukim was doing some of those work. Is is a, is a really a, is a really a sad thing to call what the what the man a, me and a man a reason and he must say he must say look on all place like all channel one oh oh the thing just run down and turn all one look empty house empty house and place of people are people them like say mad people or whatever are going now when them thing they have a museum so I me mean, really over oh 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 how the ending even come there so for the thing if you reach the levels there you hear about great channel one but when you even drive past Maxfield now if you go so all right I they say it did there. You can't see a giant now. So I owe them thing, the thing get to reach this up. Well, I cry every day. <clears throat> I cry every day. All right, the first thing. When Channel One Studio closed down, you know, choose them, them never move in the intent. Channel One closed Studio lock up with everything in that solid. Everything. That's closed down. And 1993, some little boy in the era, broke the studio. Some little boy, boy in the era, so called bad man, broke the studio. When them pop up and lock them and go in there, when them go in there, there was nothing in there because them is a set of either, them don't know what to take. Is a speaker them out of the box them we up in the roof where the it's the playback box them and the the box them round of the the, the studio part itself them teeth out the speaker them out of that and some little minor things they take they, they take out there and when they do that now Jojo them cut down and take out the the things them out up there. And that's how Channel One should have reached that stage. And then after the watchman dead, because so after them, them only, only the speaker then them take out. Because when we go to the, the morning, when them call me and tell me, say the shooter broke and Georgia and everybody go down there. And when we go down there, nothing because they never trouble the hamper to fire them or nothing at all. Because the most only, as I'm looking at teeth, we might be just a look something quick for sale. And the easiest thing with them take it was the speaker them. So that means so channel one, Jojo, them come down there and say, well, that's the next thing they may come now and do and damage something. So that's all all the equipment them pull out. The board, the 16 shot tape, the four shot tape, the two shot tape, and the piano and everything, and them carry to Jojo house. And them lock up by the children. Because we have the watch work, and them do it when the watchman. And so the children still lock up with the glass. 
And then when them when the watchman pass away, you know, the same thief them going there now and vandalize the shoe, the madman going and take out every wire, every glass, the door, everything cracked down the building to not every light system. Everything is just a solid wall inside there now. People in the area, boy, boy in the area, do that. If them never do, do that, Channel One Studio would be still there, might be not operating, but the equipment and everything would be there. It's break them breaking on the boy, boy, from the watchman Zebi. Every man will know Channel One and go to them knows that Zebi and the watchman live upstairs. And them scrap down the building. All that sign that channel where you say mark channel one, you know, is a mercy of the father make it not drop down, you know. Them take everything around it, you know, all the boards from the floor, the sink. It's, got, it's just because it's true, it's a solid building. Cast top. Make that to still there. He set a non-progressive element within of a, 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 a monument. And that is what they do to it. Every day me cry. Every day, when I time, let me have a thing down when you have inner city, thing down, 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 down at uh, Tivoli, and you'd have one when you have vinyl Thursday. I mean, and she that got to look into to say, you know, we'd have, got, have something on a channel one, you know, uh, 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 up on a, a Wednesday night or a Tuesday night, you know. Then immediately, I gun violence across the road and over the next road. Peel little boy, I've, I've, I've shoot out everything. It's the same set of people living in the community. This road, I fight against that road and that. And it's, that's why you see Channel One stay like that. Nothing can becomes. And these set of young youth, they don't know what what is even there. And Faye, I just want I want to jump back to this music thing, right? Who were they selling their records to in Europe? Channel One Records when it was produced there. Who were they selling it to in Europe at the time? Well, Chacha was one of the, the a brother named Chacha. It was distributing some of the song them for Jojo, you know. And I don't remember if Mr. Palm might have some hour. But to be frank with you, say in England and Europe, Channel One music is the most pirate. They got you the most pirate one any other producer or studio because Jojo leave that thing loose. Bonnie Lee talked to him about it. At one time Jojo ever go to England to tie up the business and Europe. So so uh, outside of church I were run away with my thing around with some of the things. I think Mr. Palm might have some they never set up a foundation. We used to ship music in in Europe because I remember the big crevenia cotton box them. We used to ship of music. So most of the record shop as people used to order music and Georgia used to, we used to ship out music every Thursday and Friday. We go to the airport to send them music. But Channel One music is the most pirate. Everybody rich and make a lot of money out of that Channel One music. If you check the, the, the right now, it's the most pirate music in out of Jamaica. Yo, D, D Brown ever recorded a tune at Channel One? Yeah, man, but not for Channel One. You know what I tell you I, I, I yesterday? Carl at D Brown, D Brown biggest song, some of so D Brown big song, Channel One them do uh, 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 Revolution. And the next one near a slide though. Uh copy song well, but Jojo can earn it now the engineer, tell Jojo to. Vice Dennis, but true channel one, I know every student have a clash, you know. So Jojo, we that uh, channel one student, Joe Gibbs student was a clash. But used to go at it together. And D Brown now was Joe Gibbs Trump card. So I I to my I feel like that the only way Jojo didn't produce Dennis. And then he said, only big artists that get out of our camp. And that's because he that was Joe Gibbs, big trump card. Because the, the brother, which is the engineer, tell Jojo to buy Dennis. Dennis come in many times. Never have nothing against Dennis. I know Dennis is a top singer. But I just feel it was a personal thing to Dennis. Uh, uh, Joe Gibbs, trump card. He must never want 
take yoga, yoga classes. Okay. But Dennis, be, 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 because uh, enough, enough big song, Dennis, come by, so I try to answer you, man. Sly, it's a sly. And, and as, as a man that was at the studio all the time, what's your favorite moment? What's your favorite experience at Channel One Studio during those years? Well, one other thing that we, we, we never forgot still, a song with him, uh, uh, John Old song, where Upward Camp. When John it for record that because it was, it was Colonel Campbell of, of No Man's Land because during the time when the state of America used to carry man go on No Man's Land. So Colonel Campbell have a song, I never want go on No Man's Land. No, no, me gone. And, and then Jojo tells John, say, to up part camp, like a man go up part camp, and John tell Jojo, he said, Jojo, we want, we flap, you want to flap my career. I choose John always a sing about love and all of them things. And Jojo said, No, man, sing up part camp, man. And John sing up part camp, which was one of the general, the general, the general big, big song with him. And uh, there's so much nice thing. With, 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 I've been telling the channel one of the corner, be able to place them. Cool Paris. It's be a fun and joke every evening when man come from work and uh, there's a place where those people just go but every the good, the bad and the ugly just come there. So that's be a niceness. We have a little youth when they're squinching, when they're there to they cut the dub them. They must they, 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 uh, they cut the dub with him. And it, you see, we as youth, any man that be around channel one thing, I just, you don't want to be somebody. Once he's a part of Channel One team, you have to be somebody. Because it's, it, 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 it's a, a place where you have everything. It have the print tree, Channel One have them own print tree, Channel One have them own pressing plant, them have them, them jukebox, them have them jackpot, them have them, them technician shop, them have the bike shop. It's a enterprise. Just a little space where that little space between Swetnam Road and Maxid Avenue. That space is just an enterprise where there's so much greatness come out of it. Just be a joy. Yeah, joy for real, man. See you, maker. They had them come left them imprint still in the music. And we give thanks to them things they can even and I see them watch the journey. And them things they lay the foundation fair and I so we have to give thanks to them vibes, you know. Yeah, man, I, we just happy to know that, as I said, uh, you depend on the right tra track as a young artist. It, it, it now got, it, it just, and the whole thing about the fairness of music, it's it just strange to know. Now, in Jamaica, they say, root song, nobody not play that again. You can count on your finger where people will play the upliftment song. And in the world, in Europe, not being racist or anything, but it's just let's realize the white people, them and the Japanese people, them I play the song, the, the roots, I take on to the roots and I play them more and evil. The Jamaican, it's a sad to know. When Channel One Studio, at Henry, uh, 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 it's a Henry Stenet, Marie Gar, Dan Tapping, Winston Williams, Never Will Be, all of those top. Radio personally, I come them come a channel one come big record to play, to play for the radio. Cause sometimes channel one to reach up there for care just to send up the record at the, the library. Those top people used to come ask for the music for play. No, the thing turned around. All of these these jacket actually no care how big them is and them fans it up. You have to pay them. Are you going yeah, to and record? Watch what they are now for the, uh, for the um, screen there. They are, yeah. Okay. A pay. These set of people, them now. A pay, we have to pay. Pay, the, the pay. These set of people. Pay them to play good song to uplift people. And nobody make no space for the roots. Nobody make no space. 
they just make all the space for man praising themselves, sex, violence, and all manner of things, and nothing to give to elevate the youth with a little road, no space. If it's done, the music, what we go hall dance, classic, tone love, when stone love, a play soul, Gemini, Africa. All of those songs were soul sound. We play every music, but they have a space. But the roots have a space for the uplifting. These young people we call them this Jackie and some of them old ones. Every man want richness out of people. We spend them hard earned money on record song. That music is an investment where you just put out there, you don't show off, inherit anything. So it has to be love. And it's just a, it's just a shame. Shame. Within. But it's those people in uh, people in in, in in foreign play play good music. Jamaican selector them not play that. A friend and company thing. What can you do for me? No, serious thing. And fire, we give <laughs> we give thanks for the history and sharing the story and the experiences and clearing the air on a lot of misconceptions people have in regards to what. Uh, really went on at Channel One. Yeah, cause the offers never been told, and right now, at them, at them words, so now we really want the people them to know, see the full insight. Cause you hear all the man talk about the things still. Cause you talk about Channel One, you hear all the man say, yeah, man, and this and man, I get them insight, but I will know, we know fair facts. So they are original, same way. So and that's why we want the perspective. You have to show people what the full thing was, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, well, I lost my, uh, uh, well, from the beginning to the end, I was there, you know. And I'm me alone, you know, because my brother was a manager for Channel One, you know, Christopher Irving, you know. So, it, we, 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 we meet every single one that come through Channel One. He was a youth when me ended up living with the China, them. Uh, he's the only Kingston 13 youth from, and get a chance to live at Narbrook. One of Jamaica top residential era. 1974. Charlie, then mother take me as a little youth out there. So I, I, I get me get bigger. I reach around 17 and uh, uh, even time when she drive go. Me have to go with gone up down with peer blood clot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> peer cricket. <laughs> peer cricket me a year at night time. So me ending up I leave. Apology for that word. I ended up, I, 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 I nah, leave. man. I was asking the ragamuffin sword, man. <laughs> we ended up now, when we were on 17, I even time, we had to go away, gone up in a car, and now we could appear cricket and make noise and then they leave the ghetto. So we just uh, ended up now, start hide at night time when, when the mother go and stay up on the corner. And that's true. So we ended up now, start go with Ernest, because the brother them had lived there. Within. So, when me I tell a man where I go on, I mean, uh, 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 me grow, me, 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 the family grow me, me live in Nardo from 70 to from me as, uh, uh, 12 year old and leave as when I was 17 year old. I spend five years there and start go back up there now and then because I reach 18, 19 now I look young so I couldn't even bother with it. The society thing, cause we are a thirteen year old, you know. The thing, so a serious thing, you know. So we give thanks again, Ballhead and the Dread. We had the one, Franklin Ben up, Irvin, original yeah. channel one, break junior sharing the history. Yeah, man, give eyes is every time I hear Rastafari, I love and powers, you know. Well, let me hear you say my.